time to tackle an important health topic. Did you realize more than 43 million people have some form of arthritis, and that may mean living with pain every day? So how do you know what's causing certain aches and pains? And what are your options? Today, Dr. Brian Camps, an orthopedic surgeon with the Spectrum Health Medical Group, is here with us today. Good morning. So Good let's morning. start off by talking about what is arthritis and what are the most common types of arthritis? Um, arthritis is uh, basically a uh, wearing away of the joint lining or the cartilage uh, that makes bones smooth so that the joints can uh, move smoothly. Uh, there are different kinds of arthritis. The most common one that I see is um, ba uh, basically aging arthritis. Mm -hmm. and. Um, so that's very common. And then uh, other types of arthritis would include uh, inflammatory arthritis, like rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, you can also get arthritis after an injury, say if you have a fracture around a joint, and that may result in the surface of the joint being irregular or rough. Uh, and then uh, a little bit less frequently, we'll see something called a vascular necrosis, which is something that happens when the blood supply uh, to the bone is interrupted. Okay, so when we're talking about osteoarthritis, what exactly is that and what are some of the symptoms? Uh, first of all, the symptoms uh, are pain, okay. and that's the most uh, common complaint that I see. Uh, then uh, what happens with uh, osteoarthritis or aging arthritis is that uh, the cartilage starts to lose some of its uh, moisture or uh, water content. Um, it loses its ability to uh, react to stresses, and so that uh, cartilage starts to break down after a while, and then it starts to thin out in the joint. So would that be something that would be chronic pain and would get worse and worse over time, or would it be something that's kind of touch and go, comes and goes at the beginning? It's kind of interesting. Uh, sometimes uh, I'll have patients who say, you know, you just showed me this x-ray that obviously has changes that have been going on for years, and yet I just started having pain a, a week ago. Why is that? And then I'll have other patients who have had pain that has slowly built up over the years. Uh, both of those complaints are pretty common. And um, the best explanation I can give is I don't know the answer to why one happened just yesterday and the other one came over a period of years. It's just very common to see it happen both ways. Yeah, I guess we're all made different, right? Yeah, exactly. So we talk about joint degeneration. What are the concerns with that? Well, um, one thing that patients uh, frequently ask me is, well, what if I don't do anything here? Is it going to get worse or is it going to stay the same? And um, I try to give them some idea about what's going to happen down the road. Um, I can predict that with aging or osteoarthritis, symptoms will get worse, but it's a little difficult to say, well, it's going to really get bad quickly or it's going to take a long time. Um, what we can say uh, with some certainty is that uh, your joint's not just going to fall apart. Uh, so. Uh, if you're thinking about, say, surgical intervention for that, uh, usually we don't have to be in a big hurry to do that. And the reason that then that we start talking about surgery uh, is if the pain is getting to the point where you just can't do the things you want to do. Your lifestyle is limited. Exactly. Okay. So let's take a look at some pictures because I, I'm guessing that uh, when you're taking a look at different patients, there's probably a, a definite difference you're seeing between this image, which is a normal hip. Sure. This yeah, image you see here is uh, used to demonstrate uh, what we see in a normal hip, which is nice smooth cartilage on the end of that uh, uh, ball at the hip joint there. And you can see a femur bone, which is basically the top of the thigh bone. There's some healthy cartilage and then the pelvic bone above that. On this image, you can see that uh, the uh, cartilage has kind of a uh, reddened and irregular appearance and that's supposed to demonstrate the cartilage starting to break down in the hip joint. And uh, then on this image, you can see what a total hip replacement looks like. Uh, there's a metal ball with a stem that goes down into the thigh bone or the femur. And then up above, there's a metal cup in the pelvic bone. And then a little bit more difficult to see there is a plastic liner between the two. 
So you have a nice metal ball that's smooth and a plastic liner that's smooth, and so that replaces uh, a rough arthritic hip joint. Okay, well with joint replacement, you know, there's so many options. Let's talk about some of those. So uh, there are uh, different types of joint replacement that we do. Um, and maybe I'll back up a little bit before I just jump right into talking mm -hmm. about surgery. Uh, because certainly there are a lot of things that we can do before we have to do an operation on somebody's joint. So we can treat uh, for pain with medications and uh, one of the most common medications that we use is something called an anti-inflammatory and uh, very common anti-inflammatories are ibuprofen or Advil and naproxen or Aleve and those are great medications. They get inflammation in the joint to go down so that hurts less. Um, then uh, a physical therapist can be very helpful uh, to guide you through some exercises and stretching sorts of things that you can do to help alleviate joint pain and very frequently we refer patients to physical therapists. Um, we can inject joints with either a steroid medication or something called visco supplementation which is basically replacing joint fluid uh, and helping to lubricate that joint so it hurts less. Uh, we counsel patients about using walking aids such as a cane or a walker. And so these are all types of things that we can use to help alleviate joint pain. Uh, with knees, we can also brace those knee joints. And some of the braces we use can unload a certain part of the joint mm -hmm. so that it hurts less. Right. Yeah, and definitely we're just scratching the surface of what is a very complex topic, but it's really nice to hear that there are so many great options, and if people are interested in getting in touch with your office or getting an appointment to talk about and explore some of those options they have available to them, we have the information available to you. You're part of the Spectrum Health Medical Group, which is yes. a, great, uh, a great organization yep. to get the very best medical care. Thank you very much, Dr. Camps, for being here with us today. Me. We'll be right back.